Bulls Knicks, virtually an annual playoff event. The calendar changes, the tone does not. Pippen obviously taunted him as he stepped over him. All right, Bob, and it is now a Bulls team without Tony Kukoc. Yesterday at practice, Kukoc injured his back and was taken by ambulance to the hospital. The Bulls say he is out this weekend for sure and probably would not be able to play until next weekend. Now, what does this do to the Bulls? We talked about that with Michael Jordan. We lose another third impact as an offensive player. You know, I think he could give us that lift when, you know, either Scotty and myself kind of really couldn't get anything generated. And, um, you know, although he hadn't played well up to this point, uh, he was really struggling mentally. Just him, his presence would have given us another threat uh, for, for New York to worry about, if anything. And uh, with him being out, we got to juggle the, the lineup a little bit and try to come up with uh, another versatile player. I think what he really gave us was versatility, you know, able to go to a quicker lineup, smaller lineup, and you know, he was a good ball handler. He could do a lot of different things while he was out there. Now we got to compensate for him not being there. Fine advice. Nixon Bulls game two Tuesday. Phil Jackson honored as coach of the year before the game. Honor the game itself, and Michael Jordan shows his back isn't all that bad. He scores 28 for the Bulls. Knicks hanging tough early. John Starks with a nice drive. New York within one at the half, but in the fourth quarter, Patrick Ewing's temper boils over. Over. It's a Jim Clemens, the Bulls assistant coach, and Ewing went after him, just crushing, holding Ewing back. Then Scotty Pippen scores seven points in a 12-0 run, and the Bulls blow the game open. Afterwards, Scotty shares his thoughts on Ewing. For as Patrick's part, it's very unprofessional to let a coach get into your head. I mean, uh, you, you, you can't let a coach on the sideline get involved in, in the game, especially a system coach. As they meet the Knicks in Game 3, Marv Albert and Matt Gukas have the call from the Garden. Then Game 3 of the San Antonio-Utah Series, Greg Gumbel and Bill Walton will be on hand from the Delta Center. The NBA playoffs continue on NBC after these messages from your local station. Concept may be team. In reality, it's the individual. Patrick Ewing, New York's backbone, held in the best of times, held responsible for the worst of times. His career, his life, forever knotted to one man, Michael Jordan. With younger hands, Ewing once gripped a national championship, a title torn loose in the final second by Jordan. They've stood eye to eye ever since. Two individuals, each taller than his team, meeting year after year in the playoff hunt. And each time, Michael Jordan has proven himself the better man. Three NBA crowns, Ewing has none. Today, Ewing still chases the man who's always been more than his equal. The concept is team. New York's fate rests with the individual. Officials, Ed T. Rush, Joe DeRosa, and Hugh Hollins, who has not been a favorite of the Bulls, involved in a couple of controversial finishes. Jordan, he was surrounded as he hits on his first field goal. Michael telling us Erback has bothered him, so you know he's feeling much better. And my, the Bulls that time are not going. Reacting to the shot by Ewing. Well, forced to take actually a bad shot. It looked like Patrick was open, but so slow he's a steal. Jordan had it knocked away. Harper slowed down, and it cost. He was trying to draw a foul, but Jordan was able to break it up. Well, Michael, so quick, he has had uh, some minor ball handling uh, problems, this time trying to do too much with it as Oakley knocked it loose. Uh, Harper, you could see, looking over his... Jordan. Well, you know Michael's feeling better. We did not see that post-up move frequently Tuesday night. Without Tony Kukoc, you know they're going to struggle for some offense while they have the mismatch size-wise with the Jordan inside on Ron Harper. They're, I should say, Derek Harper. Chicago basically standing around 
That lets the Knicks get in pass lane. Michael Jordan ends the Nick run. So Jordan, three of seven. He has six points. Personal foul department. Six calls against Chicago. None against the Knicks. The Bulls are over the limit. Jordan with a pretty move. And he'll go to the line. And that is the first foul called on the Knicks. The Bulls had gone four. He's talking about the jawing and the complaining that's going on. To the post up. The help came late, but it forced Jordan to give it up. Nick's doing a nice job off the boards, keeping it away. With Michael Jordan, he has not spent a lot of time so far this year guarding Michael. He's got him here. Jordan going for the spin and a foul before the shot attempt. And it's apparent that Michael, as we mentioned earlier, is feeling very well physically because he's back to uh, the spin move. We've seen the fadeaway. Uh, these are all uh, moves that we're doing the last couple of days. Certainly hearing the criticism off his poor performances in the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan with the bucket and then some words for Paul setting up for a final shot of this first quarter. Anderson is guarding Jordan. And it looks like Charlie Ward wants to help out. He better not leave Steve Kerr too open. And the foul on Anderson. At the line. Early entrance for John and Sally. Phil Jackson doing much shuffling here in this first quarter. Nick Lee. Mason slowed down. Able to get it down. Count, waved off. So after one, here in Madison Square Garden, New York. It's the Knicks 25 and the Bulls 17. Jordan. I think it's just a mental uh, positioning of, of, of coaches trying to get into each other's head and get into the, the opposite player's head and, and see if it affects the way that they play. I think it's, it's very important for us not to listen to that. I mean, all the comments and whatever is done on the basketball court is done on the basketball court. And uh, whatever is said in, in the press is usually for the mental edge uh, going into the next game. So um, I don't think too many of us are listening to that. And, and all the criticism is to try to get the referees to think one other way. And, and others trying to come back what the others is doing. It's more or less a soap opera. Now Jordan guarded by Anderson. He has seen a number of looks here today. Jordan with the spin. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. It appeared that Willie Anderson had played a big part against Willie Anderson and a little move to the baseline, and that shook him free from Willie Anderson. by as many as 13. It's down to a six-point lead. And a hat call on Mason. Jordan anticipating the foul. And a weak shot. And then Anthony Mason, not on the elbow. That was more along the arm there. And the end rush. Longland starts over to strip Jordan. About four minutes remaining, first half. Jordan, yes. Michael Jordan brings the Bulls within four. The thing that has to worry Jeff Van Gundy and the Knicks is they have played very strong, tough basketball. The Bulls have not, yet Chicago only down four. Make it two as Jordan adds a couple Derek more. Harper has had his problems on the inside with Michael Jordan, able to post him up and take that fadeaway jumper. This time, Michael waited, waited. A little hesitation, a little back step by Derek Harper enabled Michael to raise up and shoot a jumper, and Jordan will get his first rest of this ballgame. And I guess Jeff Van Gundy would say, hey, of course the Chicago Bulls let Oakley go ahead and make his play. Jordan putting moves on. And he draws the foul. The Knicks are looking for a palming violation. Well, appealing to Hugh Hollins. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's watch it, see if Michael turned that one over a little bit. Nevertheless, Oakley gets a hard foul and, and sometimes gain an advantage. He certainly doesn't need it. 20 for Jordan. 20 of the Bulls, 36 points. Seconds remaining first half. Looked like Ewing took a poke. Rodman wedding.
Washington, Ewing, Oakley all involved. And you saw the call made, a technical foul. The free throw attempt and make by Michael Jordan, Oakley and Rodman pushing each other, and Rodman pushed at halftime as they desperately look to hang on to this best of seven series, trailing two sets coming into today. 43-38 next, Michael Jordan leading the way. Hopper for Jordan. Jordan off the double team. Again, able to line drive it. He has 24. It's the next place. As many as 13. Hopper for three. Yes. Checking the clock. Shot clock at three. Getting hammered on the boards in both games, one and two. Out rebounding New York by 10. Michael Jordan, very quiet in the second half. Only one for five from the field, and a loose ball foul called against Chicago. His presence felt at both ends of the floor. Jordan able to beat Anderson off the dribble. Jordan with the spin. What a move by Jordan. In most instances, the player would be stopped. Willie Anderson had the right angle. Well, Michael Jordan has been thick. Get to the basket. Draw fouls. Try to get three-point plays that particular way. But Ewing took himself out of the ball 16 to 9 in this fourth quarter. Michael Jordan. Steve Kerr who just checked back. Jordan backing Harper. Michael Jordan with a beautiful move. The baseline jumper gets him. Kerr, pass up the three. The, the uh, Bulls know how it put him. Whoa, Michael Jordan. As Patrick Ewing wise, looks like Charlie Ward picks off Derek Harper, and Michael takes care of the... Jordan for three. Pippen with the save. Again, Jordan for three. Michael Jordan from downtown. Cuts it to five with a minute. We're down to 50 seconds to go. Jordan trying to draw the foul, but able to hit. And the Knicks lead is only three. Michael Jordan bringing the Bulls off nicely, trying to draw contact, and able to hang in the air and throw it from beyond, behind his right ear and get it, the Bulls to within three. The Bulls have not been... Successful shooting the three. They're five of 15 from downtown. 25 seconds to go. Jordan for three to tie it. He does. The Knicks of the Bulls are tied at 88. Timeout called by the Knicks with 19 and 4 tenths seconds remaining. Michael Jordan has done it again. of the 40 here in the fourth and remember he was off to a slow start in the second half <laughs> it's just about to say Marv the Bulls don't necessarily need a three in this situation if it shows up five as Michael just escaped with a dribble to get away from Derek Harper who was in his face to challenge the shot and it's almost as if Michael willed this thing in it looked like it was too low not enough trajectory but just cleared the front rim a 19-6 run by the Bulls over the last five minutes. Well, Michael telling us earlier that the back feels fine. Says it's the best he has felt right throughout the series. He was obviously struggling physically for game two. Did not have his usual energy. And has turned it up here down the stretch. He has scored the Bulls' last ten points of this fourth quarter. And Michael knew he was going to have to. And now Pippen able to could not get to it. And we're headed to overtime. The Knicks and the Bulls are tied at 88. So this third of the best of seven goes to OT. Back with the overtime in a moment. Now Jordan played by Hopper. Back him in for the fadeaway. And Ewing could not get to it. Pippen does. Pippen for three. Yes. Scotty Pippen 
Once again, opportunistic. Jordan. Oh, he had Harper off balance and was able to take advantage. Jordan has 42, and the game is tied at 93. Harper turns it over, and here's Jordan in a race. Nice play by Starks to break it up. Knocked the ball away, but called for the foul. Well, Derek Harper just having a nightmare from the field, one for 11, but and then turning the ball over here, the ball just thrown long and let Michael Jordan run under it, catch up, and he was just slapped on the wrist to prevent the, ba the easy basket. Jordan, eight, 11, at the line. 43 for Jordan, and the Bulls lead by one. couple of occasions led by as many as 13. They had a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter, but the Bulls, spot by Jordan, able to come from behind. Jordan at the follow. Michael Jordan with the follow to extend to a three-point advantage. 46 points for Jordan. I don't know how he found the opening to get between Harper and Starks, but he did cut the ball, knew he was in trouble, and basically just threw it off the glass to himself. The keys to a Bulls victory in game one, 44 points from Michael Jordan. John Starks went 0 for 9 from the field. The Bulls took game two this past Tuesday as Scottie Pippen scored nine fourth quarter points while the Knicks went more than seven minutes without a field goal. And this afternoon, right at the end of regulation, big three-point shot by Jordan to get the tie at 88. And a moment ago, Jordan able to slice his way through to give the Bulls a three-point lead. Jordan. 17 of 34 from the field. He has 46 points. The most he scored against the Knicks, that 55 and a half remaining in overtime. Jordan able to beat Harper off the dribble. Came up short, but recovered. Shot clock at five. Rebounded by Oakley. Spins away from the double team. Gets too far underneath the basket, enabling Ewing. Harper got picked off. Trying to guard Jordan. Getting a piece of the dribble. Well, Charles Oakley always had his turnover. But Jordan called for the foul, sending John Starks at the line because... Bulls take a timeout. The Knicks now lead by two. 27 and three-tenths seconds remaining in overtime. Well, I thought Charles Oakley, knowing that the Knicks had a foul to give in that situation, switched out on Michael Jordan, knowing he was going to get some help there, reaching in before Michael could get himself in the act of shooting, either going for the steal or the possible foul wouldn't have cost anything. And that's Michael Jordan telling the official that it should be Charles Oakley on the free throw line rather than John Starks. case there's a, a situation where they think they're going to get beat to the basket and either go for that steal or commit the foul to make the Bulls bring the ball side out of bounds. Here's another look at that steal as Charles Oakley reaching in, able to knock it loose from the top. Jordan got it by Hopper. Out of five. There's Pippen looking for the shot. Gets it.
Thank you.